bestbookbits.com brings you the book summary of Spark Joy by Maria Kondo, an illustrated masterclass on the art of organizing and tidying up. New York Times bestseller, the star of the hit Netflix series Tidying Up with Maria Kondo and author of The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, helps you visualize your ideal lifestyle. Japanese decluttering guru Maria Kondo has revolutionized homes and lives across the world. Now Kondo presents an illustrated guide to using her acclaimed KonMari method to create a joyful home that works the way you need it to. Spark Joy features step-by-step folding illustrations from everything from shirts to socks, plus drawings of perfectly organized drawers and closets. Kondo also answers frequently asked questions such as whether to keep necessary items that may not bring you joy. With guidance on specific categories including kitchen tools, cleaning supplies, hobby goods, digital photos, and even building your own personal power spot in your home. This comprehensive companion is sure to spark joy in anyone who wants to simplify their lives. On with the book summary of Spark Joy. If you've ever happened upon Maria Kondo's brilliant The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, we don't need to tell you that a messy room equals a messy mind. Well, Marie, once the maiden of mess, now organizing consultant extraordinaire, is back with an update. You could say that tidying orders the mind, while cleaning purifies it. Tidying is the act of confronting yourself. Cleaning is the act of confronting nature. In other words, tidying and cleaning are not merely practical activities, but also a spiritual quest to self-discovery and joy, lots of joy. No wonder the life-changing magic of tidying up creates a cult of converts, a worldwide community of people practicing and advocating the KonMari method with an almost religious zeal. And there is certainly something sacred in it. After all, not many people can talk of the God of tidying up or write a sentence such as this one. At the age of 15 or so, having awakened to the call of tidying, I spent every day tidying not just my own room, but virtually every space in our home from my siblings' room to the kitchen to the living room and the bathroom. Want to hear the call of tidying yourself? A good way to start is by redefining tidying up as a process of decluttering your house to make it look neat for your guest into a life-changing act of sparking joy in your life. From then on, it's all about the six basic rules of tidying. Let's have a look at them all. Number one, commit yourself to tidying up. This may seem like something trivial, but it's actually very important. In other words, the KonMari method, as you'll learn in an instant, is based on a stay-or-go approach, which is certainly not for the faint of heart. It requires time and effort, and a lot of belief and courage. These are all rooted in commitment, so you're either fully in or fully out. If the latter, the KonMari method is not for you. If the former, move on to step two. Number two, imagine your ideal lifestyle. The problem why many people suffer rebound after tidying up is fairly simple. They haven't redefined the process, understanding it as something as you do on the go and something you can start doing right away. This is not true. Tidying up only works if you have an objective. And that objective in this case is your ideal lifestyle. Picture it. Creative visualization is a powerful technique. Whether you'll draw the room of your dreams or you'll write a diary entry about it makes no difference whatsoever. The point is to give yourself an objective and a why to your cleaning project. No matter what you do, always start with why. Number three, finish discarding first. The key to success in tidying is to finish discarding first. As Kondo says, this is a secret to getting the job done both quickly and right. You must, and believe us, you have many reasons to get rid of some things to make room for others. However, worrying about where to store the ones you'll keep is something you should do later. After all, you don't know how much room you have for storing until you see what you'll store no more. Number four, tidying up by category, not by location. It's very important to get an accurate grasp on the sheer volume of each category of things you own. So tidying up one room at a time simply won't work because most probably you have clothes, books, and tools in more than one room, and shuffling them around rooms will result in merely another form of the same mess, possibly neater only for the moment. The correct approach is to first gather all items of a single category at one place, and then after seeing objectively how much of them you own, deciding where and how you can store them. Number five, follow the right order. 
Have you ever happened upon some old photos of your family while cleaning around your house and ended up spending hours looking at them? You sure have. That's why it's critical not only to tidy by category, but also to follow the correct order. And the correct order is A. Clothes B. Books C. Is papers D. Kimono Miscellinary and E. Sentimental items Spark Joy lists many useful advices on how you should approach to tidying up each of these categories. And did we mention that they are illustrated? Number six, ask yourself if it sparks joy. It's sometimes difficult to decide which things you should keep and which things you shouldn't. However, it's only obvious that this is an important skill to master. Maria Kondo suggests comparing items to each other. After you put every piece of clothing you own in a single category, give yourself three minutes to choose your favorite three items. There, these certainly spark joy within you. Repeat the process until you can before moving on trying out or even hugging items to see if they still spark joy. But don't hesitate, if in doubt, throw it away. Never ever forget that it might come in handy is a taboo during tidying. Key lessons from Spark Joy. Number one, the six basic rules of tidying. Number two, the fundamentals of storing. And three, fill your home with joy. The six basic rules of tidying. The KonMari method adheres to a strict six rule manual. Number one, commit yourself to tidying up. Two, imagine your ideal lifestyle. Three, finish discarding first. And four, tidy by category, not by location. And five, follow the right order. And number six, always ask yourself if it sparks joy. No skipping, no circumventing is allowed. The no rebound part is Kondo's promise. The fundamentals of storing. Generally speaking, there are four tenets of storage, summarized by Maria Kondo thus. Fold it, stand it upright, store it in one spot, and divide your storage space into square components. There are some things you'll be unable to fold, and others that are not designed to stand upright. However, most things you own adhere to this rule, and it is essential that you add one of your own, dividing your storage space the way a bento box is divided, i.e. into square compartments. That way your drawers will always be neat and only 90% full. Fill your home with joy. Once you've finished with tidying, that is separating and organizing the items which spark joy in you, it's time that you move on to adding some joy to your surroundings. For example, instead of storing your cherished items in some far corner of your drawer, use them to decorate your home. Add flowers, towels, curtains, and other colorful things that may enhance your joy factor. Get creative. It's your home we're talking about here. Spark Joy quotes, A joy-filled home is like your own personal art museum. There are only two choices, keep it or chuck it. And if you're going to keep it, make sure to take care of it. The important thing in tidying is not deciding what to discard, but rather what you want to keep in your life. The real tragedy is to live your entire life without anything that brings you joy and never even realize it. I want to live my life in such a way that it colors my things with memories. And that's a wrap on the book summary of Spark Joy by Maria Kondo. If you like this summary and want to listen to over 500 more, check us out at Best Book Bits on Spotify, Google Podcast, and Apple Podcast. If you're into video book summaries, find us on YouTube at Best Book Bits, where you can watch over 500 video book summaries. If you're into the written book summary, follow us on bestbookbits.com, where you can read over 500 book summaries at your leisure. If you want to join me and the Best Book Bits family, we run a free book club at bestbookbits.com forward slash book club, where you can join for free and find us on Facebook by searching Best Book Bits Book Club on Facebook. If you want to be updated with the latest book summaries, pop your email in the link below where we'll send you a weekly update on the latest book summaries. Thanks for watching and listening. Hope you got something from this. Go out there and spark joy in your life. Take care. Bye-bye now.